even on planet Earth, where we discuss that life may have had a unique origin, the arising of intelligence and conscious self-awareness, that also seems to have been a miraculously improbable event that allowed that to happen. Yes. Right? I, I mean, mean, what if the meteor hadn't wiped out the dinosaurs? I mean, would we all be sitting here and we'd all be dinosaurs and having this conversation or would we never have uh, gotten to that place? I suspect not. I mean, I think, I think that we, there would be lots of dinosaurs around, but it, but it's, yeah. it's but would, I, yeah. I think, it's a, I think it's, a, it's a major step. We were talking about whether the origin of life was a big step and perhaps it was. Um, so we don't, that, as I said, that was a corollary of whether we think there's life elsewhere. So there so might be swarms all over the universe of bacterial type yeah. life. But if we ever discovered life elsewhere, it would have to be by radio waves coming in. And that means it would have to be technologically sophisticated life. And that means it would have to have overcome another barrier. So that the barrier from bacterial level life maybe there are several in intermediate ones, and then up to the kind of life that's capable of producing radio waves that we can detect. Right, so long if it's far enough away, I mean, if it's near enough by, in principle, we could. If it's near enough by, yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting that's probably not. Um, I suspect that if we ever do discover extraterrestrial life, it will be by SETI, by, by and in, in that case, we have the question, do we have a second barrier, or maybe a third or a fourth barrier, right. and pr to produce the sort of intelligence? We don't have to get into consciousness. I mean, it could be unconscious, but it... But, if but it could it, talk it, to us, that would be good but, enough. But right. if, it, if, it, if it can produce radio sig signals, right. then that, that's... An, and that's a much more mundane question than the question of whether, whether the light, as you say, the consciousness sure. light is turned so, on. So do you think you... I mean, if we, if we discovered life that's not intelligent, um, would it make much of a difference ultimately to life here? I mean, it would be an exciting moment and so on, but would it then, you know, you know, we have what, you know, it used to be that you had a, a week news cycle, a 24 hour news cycle, now it's like every 10 minutes. So yes. would this be like from 10.30 to 10.34, bacteria found yeah. on Mars, and then by 11 o'clock, Trump would do something else and everyone forget about it. <laughs> I, I like to think that it, that it would change the way we think about our own life, but it, maybe, maybe it wouldn't. I think it, it, it really would if we, if we were contacted by intelligent life forms elsewhere, especially as if it was intelligent enough to get its signals here, it would have to be a lot higher level than us. Uh, and so we would, be, that we would have a lot more to learn from them than they would learn from us. And so... Right. Um, that really ought to shake our confidence and shake our... Um, now, if it was far away, it would be a pretty slow conversation. You couldn't have a conversation, right. though, that's right. Um, but you could listen to them. Right. Um, um, so, so let's say we did have this conversation going. Let's say we get over the barrier somehow. We learn how to communicate with each other. And fancifully, let's imagine that the conversation happens yeah. more quickly than... You know, 500 know, year in, yeah, interval or, between. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. let's put yeah. all that to the side yeah. for just a second, mm -hmm. uh, which is certainly a technical detail. Could you imagine that the logic by which this intelligent extraterrestrial society lived and thought and worked and created would be fundamentally different from the logic here. That I love that question. With. I mean, I... I you, you, you've heard this question before? I mean, well, is this frequently asked you? I feel so hackneyed. No, I thought no, it was a good question. It's a, no, that's I why love I say that I question. love it. I mean, uh, um, I, I mean um, clearly they would have Pythagoras' theorem. Um, they would have um, uh, numbers. They'd have geometry. They'd have... Um, but I'm, I'm, like you, I'm curious to know whether they'd have a completely different kind of um, question that we don't, we don't have. Because there are, in mathematics, you're probably familiar with, uh, different kinds of logics. Yes. And, you know, uh, they're, they're interesting mathematically. People study these logics. You know, there's, you know, multivariate logic where it's not just true or false. It can be somewhere in between. You know, there's a subject called quantum logic, which in some sense is modeled on quantum mechanics where, you know, it's not just the particles here or over here, but it's, you know, some quantum mechanical mixture of the two. So, so is it conceivable that one of those or some other kind of logic would 
would yield a kind of engagement with the universe that's utterly distinct from ours. Well, it's sometimes suggested that the, 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 that the way in which we think, which is not the way quantum theorists think, but the way people think, ordinary people think, um, is di dictated by what's the necessary kind of logic that you need in order to survive on the African plains. Yes. Um, and so when you're a, when you're a medium-sized object hunting other medium-sized objects and moving at medium speeds, um, then you need a different kind of logic. Than if, if, if somehow you could imagine that we were shrunk to the quantum lev level, we would have a yeah. different kind of yeah, logic. Yeah, right. Now, you can well imagine that some very forward-thinking one of our remote ancestors who was out there in the savannah and, and actually thinking about quantum mechanics uh, got eaten. Right, so uh, so so uh, that's why uh, you know it takes so much dedicated effort for us to th figure out these quantum laws because it's not built into our evolutionary structure. It didn't have any survival value. Presumably, that's a reasonable way of thinking about it. Yes, I mean that, that's kind of what I meant, but not quite in, in those terms. Um, I, I mean, I'm I'm curious to ask a an advanced theoretical physicist, which is I don't often get that opportunity, but but. Um, the, the weirdness, the sheer, utter, utter mind-numbing weirdness of quantum theory. Um, do you, are you one of those physicists who, as it were, takes that in your stride and says, well, I don't actually, I can't conceptualize it, but the, the mathematics works, and so I, and, and the predictions that it produces are verified by experiment, and so in some sense it's got to be true. Or do you lie awake at night wishing you could understand, or perhaps you do un feel you understand it at, at, at uh, Well, I, I, I don't feel I understand it in the same way that I understand tables and chairs right. in a classical experiential perspective. And I do wish that I had quantum mechanical reasoning in my bones. I think I would engage with the universe in a, in a radically different and quite wonderful way. I mean, look, we all know if I, you know, I won't do it, but if I took this and I tossed it to you, you'd put out your hand and you'd catch it, which is an amazing thing because you didn't do the Newtonian calculation of the trajectory yeah, of the bottle. Yeah, you just yeah. sort of felt it in your bones and you yes. put your hand there and you catch yeah. it. So it's so mundane, but it's so wondrous that we're able to do it. And it just shows the power of imbibing the rules that are relevant on the scale at which survival takes place. And I wish I had that same quality when it came to uh, an electron in the hydrogen atom, that I could just sort of feel the S orbital, and I could feel, you know, the P orbital, like be in my bones, right? So if you ask me some question about the hydrogen atom, I wouldn't have to go calculate. I would just sort of be able to do what you did when you put out your arm and catch the bottle. So, so I don't have that. I wish that I did. At the same time, I certainly do use the mathematics to gain a confidence with the ideas.